A board-certified neurosurgeon, Dr. Rob Dickerman, offers extensive expertise in all of the conservative and surgical options for treating patients with acute spinal conditions. With offices in Plano, Frisco, and McKinney, Dr. Dickerman and his talented staff bring a skilled and caring touch to treating your neurological and spine surgery needs. Our mission is to provide for the spine patients the most minimally invasive techniques we can to quicker recovery, back to sport or work as fast as they can. So we offer a variety of minimally invasive surgeries depending on their pathology. Terry Holton had grown tired of living with constant back pain. Her doctors prescribed all of the tried and true treatments to alleviate the aches, but nothing worked. I tried losing weight, physical therapy, I had shots in my back, I went to the chiropractor. I just couldn't stand the pain any longer and I knew I needed to get surgery. Terry trusted the diagnosis of Dr. Rob Dickerman. Dr. Dickerman is a board certified neurosurgeon and believes conventional treatment should always be pursued before surgery, which can help the right patient. Dr. Dickerman also offers complete and comprehensive spine care, including pain management, physical therapy, rehabilitation, and minimally invasive spine surgery. Nine out of 10 patients we can treat conservatively without surgery. If they fail conservative care, then we have a variety of minimally invasive techniques to treat them surgically. The benefits of minimally invasive spine surgery are shorter hospital stays, less muscle damage, and faster recovery. They can get back to work a lot faster. My training is a bit unique in that I have a uh, spine fellowship from the Texas Back Institute and a brain tumor fellowship from the National Institutes of Health. Uh, these combined provide me an advantage to manage complicated neurosurgical cases. Each patient is unique. Um, on an initial visit, we do a complete neurological examination, review of their films, and address specific treatments according to their complaints. We see everything that neurosurgery encompasses, both brain and spine, from back pain to neck pain to things such as Chiari malformations. I've been in anesthesia for about um, approaching 20 years now and been in the Dallas area for about five years and Rob has been a pleasure to work with. He's a, a refreshing combination of high technical skill and um, great training, extensive training. He's dual fellowship um, and he's also very affable. He's easy to work with and the most important thing to me is he gives, gives a damn about his patients and that's it's, we're kind of tied at the hip, as you might imagine. Anesthesiologists and surgeons, are, our fates are intertwined with the welfare of the patient. And it's a pleasure to work with somebody who cares about his patient, number one, and number two, does a very good job. Dr. Dickerman did my surgery a year ago, and I was on my feet the next day. I did have to wear a back brace for about three months, but I was feeling better and able to walk again. I can sit and not be in pain, uh, even for extended amounts of time and that's really important because I used to just be in tears. I have already recommended Dr. Dickerman to a church friend who's had neck surgery by him, and Dr. Dickerman's also performed two other brain surgeries on my husband since then. I continue to work with Texas Back on developing advanced uh, techniques in spinal surgery. Uh, we present at conferences uh, locally and nationally and continue to publish papers on advanced spinal surgeries. We use specific neuroanesthesiologists, which are anesthesiologists trained to manage neurosurgical cases. Uh, secondly, we used advanced neuromonitoring on every case. Uh, this includes awake craniotomies. We do brain surgery with the patient awake. Uh, we do spinal cord tumor surgery, uh, advanced complex spine surgery for instrumentation. Uh, advanced neuromonitoring allows us to monitor the patient directly in the operating room and in the operating room, we can see firsthand the patient improve uh, during the monitoring. Once we're doing a decompression of the nerve, we can see the nerve improve right then and there. We don't have to wait till the patient wakes up to see if they have pain anymore. Uh, this is an advantage I have to my practice locally that's a benefit that they don't offer a lot in a lot of parts of the country. My wife's had problems with her back, and I felt confident enough to send her to see him to uh, have a workup, and if necessary, to have surgery. And. Uh, he felt like surgery wasn't necessary, gave us a good explanation of what was going on. We, uh, we felt comfortable with his explanation and, and he took good care of her and that's you know, the, one of the highest recommendations I think you can have is sending a spouse or a family member to, to see somebody. 
I would recommend my family and friends to Dr. Dickerman if they had back problems because he looks at the whole picture and he is very good at what he does. He treats each patient as an individual. In the OR, he likes to uh, try new systems and use the minimally invasive systems as well, which helps in patient care. He has taught me that you need to look at the whole patient and really hear them out on what their complaints are and then, then treat them, then, then make a treatment plan as far as what their complaints are. I started having back pain and some leg pain uh, about uh, a year ago. Uh, the problem initially started about two years ago, then just progressively got worse. I had an anterior posterior L5-S1 fusion, and the uh, procedure went well. Um, recovered pretty quickly. I'm only uh, six weeks after surgery, but uh, I think it's progressing pretty well. And uh, uh, I think I've gotten about 90, 95% relief from the pain, and I think it'll probably improve in the next few weeks. Well, I like to try to do a lot of outdoor activities, uh, mountain bike a lot, play a lot of football, just different sports. and. Uh, I'm hoping to get back into those things again. Um, it's been a little while since I've got to do them and I miss doing them, so I'm looking forward to doing that again. I definitely recommend Dr. Dickerman to others. Uh, he's a very professional, very competent, very smart, smart doctor, and um, my grandmother's having some back problems at the moment now, and I've definitely told her she needs to talk to Dr. Dickerman. I really think uh, he knows what he's doing. I have a great relationship with the doctor. He really has taken a personal interest in both my husband and I and helped us through a really difficult time and my pain is gone away I can you know perform my caregiving duties that I need to for my husband and that's just really important to me right now. It's very important to us to have a dedicated caring staff being a specialty we have a small staff but all dedicated to different parts of the care for the patient we have a specific secretary for surgery coordinating who sets up the surgeries and makes sure everything is taken care of for that patient. We have another administrative assistant who assists with daily operations in the office. Dr. Dickerman has a physician assistant as well as an RN to help assist in the daily activities of patient care. We try to just continue to advance our techniques, going to courses, going to conferences, teaching, uh, learning everything we can. Uh, the mistake I think a lot of surgeons make is you learn what you did in residency and you don't learn anymore. And with spine surgery and brain surgery, everything's changing on a daily basis and you have to get up and train with the newest techniques. Neurosurgery is a, a, a great field. I wouldn't change it for anything. It takes a long time to get here. But once you get here, you're able to help people, uh, sometimes with life-threatening life diseases, and it, it's very gratifying. There are new advanced techniques available in spine surgery, and whether your low back pain requires comprehensive care or minimally invasive surgery, Dr. Rob Dickerman and his staff can help you get back on track.